I'm wondering, have you ever been called by somebody or called somebody else an incompetent? Or maybe let's start a bit on a more positive note. Have you ever regarded a person, yourself as well, as competent? Hmm. Do you know what competent means? Hmm. Ah, it's like this famous St. Augustine sentence when he said, when they asked him, do you know what time is? And he says, yes. Can you explain time? And he said, no. Fortunately, competences we can explain and understand. Right now. Enjoy. Now, there is a good question. How do we know that we are competent? So, competence is a cycle, is a development cycle. And it starts with one step. And that step is to be unconscious incompetent. That means I don't know that I do not know. There's something I totally ignore out there and have no idea about it. I don't even know it exists. Before meeting Rescogita, I never heard about ecopsychology. Then, after that, we become conscious incompetent. That means I know that I do not know. I met Rescogita, I found out about ecopsychology, and I just realized I know nothing about it, and I would like to learn more. After that, we become conscious competent, meaning I know that I know. I came across ecopsychology, started to read some books, practice some of these things. Aha, uh -huh, okay, now I understand. I understand how it works, I understand its ecological and psychological mechanisms. I know that I know. And the final step is unconscious competence. I know. I don't know that I know. So something becomes part of the nature. You don't have to question it anymore. You do it naturally, like tying your shoelaces. And in the same way, you can be unconscious, unconsciously competent in eco-psychology, in the sense of some things having entered your habits, like taking a weekly trip outdoors or behaving in a certain way towards um, the biosphere or your community, that it comes natural. You don't even think about it anymore. In life, what happens most of the time is this, that through informal education, through our life experiences, we often go from unconscious incompetent, I do not know that I do not know, to unconscious competent, I don't know that I know. So we have a lot of knowledge there, underlying within us, that we're simply not aware of, and does not mean that it's not there. In the approach that we use in the Resgogita, we tend to make this passage here. We start from, I do not know that I don't know, to raise awareness, to go towards, I know that I don't know. And then to make the next logical step, which is, I know that I know. So to raise uh, awareness and consciousness of one's learning and development. To then support embedding this new competence, this new knowledge, inside uh, the person's uh, nature, behavior, values, and actions. And then to make a step backward. So to reflect with the learner, all the steps that were made to becoming conscious competent, to the time when the learner was conscious incompetent, to the time when the learner was unconscious incompetent. Therefore, empowering the learners and individuals to be aware of these steps and to repeat them also in the future. So, what competence would you like to develop? Really? Then just get started. Thank you. 
and just remember to follow us on www.riskogita.academy. Bye. So, did you discover something interesting, new, some new discovery, new awareness in the last 10 minutes? I truly hope so. However, you must know something that it is impossible not to learn. Therefore, you must have learned something. What you've learned, that is entirely up to you. Thank you very much for following. And we will be very much curious to hear your thoughts on competence, on competence development, on how you personally develop your competences. Write to us, write in the comment session, get in touch. Thank you once more and please, please take good care of yourself. Goodbye.